Good morning friends. Today we're going to be doing some weaving and some sculpture. We're going to be making a spider web and a spider to go on it and maybe if we get to it even make an insect as well. Insects and spiders are two different kinds of bug. A spider has how many legs? Eight and actually eight eyes, wow, no wings, and they like many of them to weave a web. A web is a special um, kind of thread. Uh, some of the threads the spider makes sticky, and some of the threads the spider makes that are not sticky. The spider can make the thread inside its body and feed it out just like you were pulling string off a roll of string. When the spider has completed the web, and spiders can do this with other spiders or on their own, and they know in their little tiny brain exactly what the web should look like and repeat it over and over and over again fix it when it gets broken in exactly the same way they're born knowing how to make a web nobody teaches them so there are many different kinds of spider webs some of them they build alone others are built by a community of spiders so we're just going to make an individual web of our own making we can be very creative about how we weave the web when an insect now, an insect is a different kind of uh, bug altogether. They often have wings, six legs, and usually two eyes, called compound eyes, quite complicated eyes, although neither spiders nor bugs are very good at seeing anything. And many bugs start out life as a larva or a caterpillar, like a butterfly, right? but their whole body changes to become the adult insect with wings and six legs and able to fly and drink and lay more eggs for the next generation. So let's start out with our web first of all. <clears throat> so a pretty simple way to do this, you can choose any piece of cardboard, oak tag, um, make the use of those delivery boxes. Well, what I've done with mine is I have a plate and a pair of scissors. And I'm gonna take my plate and I'm going to cut about a quarter, well, no, actually it's a, an inch and a half all the way around my plate. There's no set number of ways, times you can do that until I have a plate that looks like this, almost like a flower. Now, once I've done that, and here, I'm going to take a colored plate because I actually only have some um, string that's white, so you won't see it properly if, you, if we're weaving a white string on a white plate. So I colored my plate, and now I'm going to make those cuts all the way around you can make as many or as few as you like the more you make the more interesting your web will be it gives you more uh, options and then once you've gone all the way around now here we have okay it actually looks like one of those schema baskets now we're going to take string or yarn. Yarn is great to do this with if you can get different colors. And we're going to tie a knot. Get mom or dad to help you in one end of the string. Okay, I'm going to actually tie a knot on top of a knot on top of a knot because I don't want it to pop out of the plate. See, so I have my knot. And now I'm going to slide that knot. This is the back. This is the colored part is the front. I'm going to slide the knot on the back of the plate like this. 
So now it doesn't pull out. And now I'm going to stretch the string down to another cut, put it in there, and then I'm going to wrap it around the back and come out at a different cut. See, now I'm gonna make an X. Now I'm gonna take it around again. I'm back to the front, wrap it around, go to the back, go to another cut, come back, and keep doing this as many times as you like. Um, you can make whatever pattern you like. Um, the more string you have, the better. So now I'm going to cut my string here. And I'm going to, so it doesn't come out of the plate, I'm going to tie a knot on the back so the string doesn't pop out either at the end. So this will secure your spider web. You could use tape. The tape can come off. These knots, it's a lot easier keep them in. So there is our spider web, our pattern. So we're going to put this over to one side and now we're going to make this spider. So to make a spider or anything, we're going to use Play-Doh and you can make your spider however you want. We're going to need Play-Doh or some kind of sculpting clay, something to use as legs. I have little cut up stirrers that I got from um, the store that you use to stir coffee or other things. So here they are in a box and I cut them up to make them smaller. So I have some of these. Okay. And then so here are my cut up stirrers right here. And then I need eyes for my spider. So I am going to use some buttons. I happen to have some interesting buttons actually right here. The small ones are the best unless you're going to make a giant spider, which you could. So I'm going to cut, count out eight eyes. Okay, eight eyes. Let's see now. That's a little bit big. Keep going here <clears throat> with my smaller buttons. You can use little rocks. Uh, any very small item is fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. I need two more. Two more. One, uh, two. Here's my eight eyes. Now I'm going to need eight legs best way to count is to line up your items. One, two, three, four, five. I need three more. Six, seven, eight. And that's all I need to put on my spider. They don't have wings. There's nothing else complicated about them. Eight eyes and eight legs. So I'm going to take some blue Play-Doh. I don't want everything to be very pale. And now a spider has two body parts. It's got a head and it's got a body. So an insect, on the other hand, has three body parts. It has a head and what they call a thorax, which is like a chest, and then a long abdomen. The thorax is actually in an insect where the legs come out. But in a spider, we're just gonna stick the legs in the body, makes it easier, just two parts. So I don't want my head to be too small because my buttons are quite big. So we're going to go and do that trick with the clay um, that we learned uh, Last time when we were making the marble mazes, we're going to roll it up to make a ball. 
there's my spider's head right there. I'm going to flatten it a little bit. That gives it a little bit more um, area to put the eyes in. And I don't want it to be too big, otherwise it's not going to fit on the web. Next, I'm going to make the body. So for that, I'm going to take a little bit bigger amount of clay. Not that much bigger, but a little bit bigger. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make it round just easier that way. I'm going to warm it up in my hands. I'm going to roll it around like this, just like we did making the marble maze. And now I'm going to make that a little bit flatter like that. And I'm going to put these on this white plate so you see them better. So the head, so we have my spider's head and we have the body. The body's a little bigger, so we know which is which. Let's put the eyes on, shall we? Now, I'm going to have a bit of a hard time fitting all my eyes because I got these buttons that are a little bit big, but I'm going to give it a try. So count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eyes, wow. And then I'm gonna push them into the Play-Doh so they don't fall out. Okay, so there is my spider with the eyes, wow. Now we're going to put the legs on, eight legs. Four on one side, four on the other. Everything alive almost is symmetrical. Remember we talked about symmetrical when we made our special um, quilts uh, and tie-dye paper towels here? One side matches up with the other. So we're going to put four legs on one side, four legs on the other side of our spider because four plus four is eight. So I'm going to take my whatever I decide to do, my stirrers, or you can use toothpicks, or you can use anything that's small and looks like a leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there is my spider. Eight eyes, eight legs. Let's put this guy on the web. Here is my spider web. Now a spider is not going to sit in the middle of the web and wait for a bug to fly by and get tangled up in the web because that's what happens. The web is so fine, you can't even see it unless you walk into it. So the bug will get tangled up in the web. But if a bug is flying by and sees a giant spider hanging out, hanging in midair, he's going to decide that something is fishy and change direction. So the spider hides at the edge of the web. If he's built a web in a tree, the spider could go underneath a leaf. If it's in a bush, the same thing. They can make themselves pretty invisible. Now, my blue spider is not invisible right now because I made him blue and there's a reason because I want you to see him on the web. So we can put our spider right here waiting for his catch to come. Now, if you push those buttons all the way in or whatever you choose to use and then let your spider dry, you can have something that you can pick up and move around, which is kind of fun. You can make him move around the web uh, and do his thing. Now, if we have time and we want, why don't we make an insect? Because then we can put the insect on the web stuck. 
So I'll move the web out of the way now. And now I'm going to take another plate just so you can see me making this. I'm going to make my insect out of this funky yellowy green Play-Doh I have. Now, an insect has, remember, three body parts. Wow. So we're going to make the head a ball just like the spider's head and body are going to be a ball because it's pretty simple. Okay. And I'm going to make my head a little smaller because I only have to fit two eyes on now. There's my head. Now the thorax. Now the thorax has to hold the legs. So I can't make it too small because somehow you have to put six legs on there. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm also going to make it sort of round. And now for the abdomen. Many times a bug's abdomen is long. It's much longer and thinner. So I'm going to give that a go. Okay. Don't forget to warm up the Play-Doh here. It really helps. And I'm going to make it a little bit longer. So I'm going to start rolling it out. Remember how we made that snake a little bit back and forth like this to make it longer. So here is my bug, head, thorax, abdomen. Okay, let's give our bug some eyes. I have a couple of buttons here I can use. Here's one. And here's another one. There. There's his eyes. Now, in the thorax, that's where his legs come out. So I'm going to take one of my stirrers and I'm going to make six legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the legs come from the second part of the body, the bit in the middle. Okay, so I'm going to fit six legs there. There we go. Now, insects have wings frequently, and that's how they end up getting tangled up in the web. So how can we make a wing? Well, one way we can do it is to take our paper plate and cut some wings right out of the edge. There's one wing. I'm going to put it right into the thorax right there. Make sure it's dug in. And here's a second wing. Now, often bugs have more than two wings. They have pairs of wings, but for today, we're just going to make it have two. And you can make your wings out of anything you like too. So here is our bug. Now, a bug and a spider together look pretty different. Two body parts of the spider, eight eyes, eight legs. With my insect, two eyes, six legs, three body parts and wings. Okay, so here is spider hanging out in the web and our bug is going to get tangled up right in the middle because these threads can be sticky. So he's going to get totally messed up in here and unable to move. Now, how come the spider doesn't get stuck to his own web? Well, the spider made the web. So Mr. Spider really knows which threads are sticky and which threads are not. So he can just walk around the web on all the unsticky threads until he gets to the spider. And that is breakfast. So if you make something really cool with your webs, you can hang it from somewhere in your room. Uh, you can make your bugs really creative. If you want, you can make your spiders really creative. 
I made them a little bit conforming to what they should be so you understand there's a difference between a spider and an insect even though sometimes we call them all bugs they're not really so have fun with your webs and your creations and send in some pictures so we know what they look like I bet they're going to be really really cool <laughs>